I don't even know where I'm trying to get at this point. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a list of all the American boot, denim, and workwear companies that I could find. This isn't probably all of them, so if you know of any that I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Welcome, I'm Carl Murawski. This is the channel that helps you own better, look better, and live better. Now it's probably no surprise, but I live in the United States of America, and I love it here. Now one of the things that seems to be going away, or maybe has gone away, is United States manufacturing. However, when I was researching this list, I was actually surprised at how many different companies there are making all sorts of different things. So I had to kind of narrow it down a little bit for this one. I didn't count things like cowboy boots. I didn't count things like, you know, Levi's, who is kind of an American company, but makes most of their stuff overseas. I tried to be, you know, as discerning as possible while in still including stuff that I know. So. You know, this isn't a perfect list, but I hope that you get a lot out of it. All right, let's go through the boot list. We have Alden from Massachusetts, Allen Edmonds from Wisconsin, Chippewa from Wisconsin, although you have to check for their Made in USA boots. They're owned by Justin Brands, which is actually owned by Berkshire Hathaway. Corcoran, their Jump Boots and their Berry Boots from Pennsylvania. Danner is from Oregon. David Yan Footwear from Washington. Drew's Boots from Washington. Carolina Boots from Pennsylvania. Crary from Oregon, Fry from Massachusetts, Frank's Boots from Washington, Georgia Boot from Ohio, Heartland Footwear from Indiana, Hoffman Boots from Idaho, Goki from Missouri, JK Boots from Washington, John Calden Boots from Colorado, LL Bean from Maine, Nick's Boots from Washington, Parkhurst from New York, Keen from Oregon, Creosote from New Jersey, my personal favorite, Oak Street Bootmakers from Illinois, Origin from Maine, Limmer from New Hampshire, Red Wing from Michigan, Russell Moccasin from Wisconsin, Steger Mucklucks from Minnesota, Rancourt from Maine, Roll Club from California, Southwest Boot Company from California, Thoroughgood Boots from Wisconsin, Thursday Boots is from New York, but their Vanguard is actually made in Arkansas, Truman Boot Company from Oregon, Westco Boots from Oregon, and White's Boots from Washington. I really can't think of many things that are more American than blue jeans, so we're gonna get into some denim companies now. For denim, we have Blue Delta from Mississippi, 316 from New York, Brilliant U Denim from North Carolina, Bowery Blue from New York, Crawford Denim from California, Detroit Denim from Michigan, Brave Star from California, Dearborn Denim from Illinois, Diamond Gusset Jean Company from Tennessee, Free Note Cloth from California, Glenn's Denim from New York, Imogene and Willie from Tennessee, Jean Shop from New York, Left Field from New York, Rail Car Fine Goods from California, Rogue Territory from California, Roy from California, Hard & Co. from Connecticut, Judy Rawson from New York, Mark Nelson Denim from Tennessee, Mr. Freedom from California, Rally Denim Workshop from North Carolina, Chaco Atelier from Virginia, Tellison from California, Texas Jeans from Texas, Stovall and Young from California, Williamsburg Garment from New York, and WH Ranch from Kansas. Finally, workwear, the stuff that so many of us have to wear every single day, plenty of it is being made domestically. For workwear, we have Atlas 46 from Missouri, Earl's Apparel from Texas, 1620 Workwear from Massachusetts, Benchmark FR from California, Carhartt from Michigan, Chiano Farmer Denim from Texas, Dickies from Texas, Filson from Washington, LC King from Tennessee, Dixon Industries from Iowa, Grease Point Workwear from Oregon, Heat Straps from New Jersey, Martin Brothers Workwear from Oklahoma, Red Ants Pants from Montana, Red Clouds Collective from Oregon, Prison Blues from Oregon, Roundhouse from Oklahoma, Tyndale from Pennsylvania, Union Line from Illinois, Watershed from Oregon, and Zace from Ohio. Now this is as complete a list as I could make, but I'm sure that I missed some companies. So if I missed your favorite company or if you could think of any that I missed, please let me know in the comments section below. And if you're watching this video, well then go check out the comments section to see some of the stragglers that I kind of left behind. I 
bet you there's probably a few really big ones that I just totally missed. Now we're coming up on the 4th of July. This is a great time of year where we all get to spend time with people who we love, going off and having barbecues, setting off fireworks, and just enjoying each other's company. So please get out there, spend time with your loved ones. Shut this video off right now. Just go and give them a hug. You never know when the last time's gonna be. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.